what's up YouTube it's Toron here and we're coming at you with an update for the slime farm and as you can see it's all closed in I got the lava in place for the lava blades to take out the larger slimes and this is an indicator light that tells me there are slimes ready to be farmed what I did is I, instead of bringing them back up to the top, I just made a spot down here where they collect. And as I'm going down, I can stop and pause and see if I have any more slimes. But... I'm going to get down here. Come over here, and you can see my horde of slimes. And then all I do is just drop down there and kill them since they're baby slimes. And it's easy. But what I did is I'll show you. So all the slimes come and fall down the little hole right there. And there's one in each corner and they fall into the water. And then the current pushes them yonder. And they eventually get pushed underneath the bridge into this area here. <coughs> Excuse me. And so what I do is just go down here. And I just kill them. I'm using a looting sword so I can get the most out of this. Hey, you're not supposed to be back there, you little jerk. Oh wow, there's a few of them back there. Oh, I gotta fix the redstone. How'd you guys get back here? I figured the, uh... These would stop them. But maybe not. I'll be glad when I have half stones in 1.3. And we can actually, I can put a half stone slab here and still run redstone over it. That'd solve this problem. Until then, I guess I'll just have to deal with it. Not a big deal. I killed all your little buddies. You too. Alright. And that's where it goes up. Again, I need half slabs in order to keep them from going up there. That's alright. So, there we go. And then we need to add this back. Bingo! Alright, and then put that back. Yeah, as soon as they have the half slabs available, what I'll do is um, we'll put a half slab behind those so that they can't go in. And then run the redstone on top of the half slab, and that should prevent any further problems. But basically, I use the pressure points to stop the water, and then they jump around in the corners in here when they're actually here, so that I know they've actually spawned. And that way, I can just sit up top doing stuff and check on it, and when they spawn, I just come down and kill him. Um, now I know that there's ways to do like a, a mob evader form where you could bring them up using like ladders. Uh, but I, I tried something similar with the ladders and the water and I didn't like how it was working. So I'm just going to use the trick I have for now. I might expand it later, but as it is, I just got to wait and see. When this lights up, there's slimes to go kill. 
So it's not too bad. And I have a box full of slimes that I've been collecting over here. So yeah, I just got another 64 and a half. 60 full stack and then 64, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now though, what I want to do is show you something else I've been working on. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it here, and I will be back with you guys as soon as I'm over to the new area. Okay everybody, I'm back. As you can see, I brought you to the under the castle build area. And I've actually filled these sections back in that I've blown up with dynamite. Because I changed my mind how I want to do this. And I've actually been fairly busy uh, building this out. And I'm going to show you what I've been doing. What we've managed to do here... Oh, need a speed potion. Is... Ta-da! I've cleared out seven layers so far. It's taken quite a while. I still have placed torches. Um, but what I've managed to do is clear out quite a bit down here. You can see this ravine ties back into here. There's all that stuff down there. We have this ravine here. That goes down. Uh, what I'm basically doing is I'm building down into the, the ground. I'm going to go down to probably about 6 or 7. And that will basically put me at the level I want to be for um, for this whole thing. I was kind of inspired by Nebris. I like the way he did his underground build for his base. And I'm kind of doing something similar, basically. So props to Nebris for inspiring me. I really appreciate all the work that he puts into his videos, and I aspire to one day be as awesome as those guys on the Minecraft server. But yeah. So this is basically what I've been working on for the past week or so. And so sorry I haven't put out a video. I've been really focusing on on getting this dug out. It's, um, let's see, I made it 50 blocks for the radius. So from here, it's 50 blocks that way, that way, that way, and that way. I decided 50 would be a good radius for it. It gave me quite a bit of room to work with. Because what I'm planning to do is I'm going to have a walkway that comes out. Let's see. One, two. I'll probably have a walkway that extends like this, but the walkway is going to follow its own circular path. Oh, need some food. So the walkway will follow this path all the way around, but it's going to be about eight wide. So there's plenty of room because I'll add in. This will probably be cobblestone, and then stone brick, and cobblestone with some smooth stone, or regular stone, I guess you could say, around the edges. And that's going to go all the way around, eight wide. So basically at the 42 block mark. But that's not going to happen until I get down further, because I'm probably going to go down to... Probably make that about 15 blocks tall all the way around. So I'll start doing that. I'll start having to bring the circle in at around 
Let's see if I'm going to stop at six. So about level 25 is where I'll start doing it. No, level 21. Never mind. At level 21, I will start bringing it in and create a smaller circle to follow around. And then that'll create the walkway. And then we'll go down to the to level 6. And then I'm going to do like three layers of water. So I'll do a three water deep section all the way around. And then this middle section is going to be a larger pillar with bridges that go across to the main sections. So it'll be pretty awesome when I'm done. But I have a lot of stone smelting right now. Or cobblestone smelting this smooth stone. You have these areas that I still have to go in and explore too. And like down here. Ow! Ooh, a slime. Not that I need you guys anymore. I have a slime farm. Ooh, that's a long drop. Yeah, so... But that's what I've been working on, you guys. It's been quite a bit of work. Oh crap, that hurt. I don't want to waste the stone I have. Don't want to get snuck up on either. Yeah, what do you guys want to see in the next build? Um, you know, or what what rooms do you think I should have in my little castle base thingy here? I'm pretty much thinking I'll have like my bedroom, an awesome like alchemy lab, and a redstone section. And of course, a treasure room to store all of my goodies. Uh, and I'll have a. Uh, oh, that was total fail jump there. I'll also have a nether portal as well. I'll have a nether portal. I'll have. Pretty much you know, any, any type of room you can think of, I'm going to make room for. Um, it's going to take a while. My the, Getting down the seven levels here with my picks that I've been able to get um, hasn't taken too long. Because I do two level, I do two rows at a time. So I go around and knock out two rows. Like so. And it goes pretty quick. And then I can't I can't really complain. I've been able to get through this. It took me probably a few hours to get this far. Um, but it hasn't been too bad. Because a lot of it is lucky because I'll find like huge giant caves that I don't have to dig out as much. So it saves me a lot of effort by not having to dig out these caves. And I am silk touching most of these blocks when I come across them. Because I'm going to wait until... Oh, I could have just used a regular pick retard. So that's what I do, is I basically just dig around the edge first. And then um, work my way through the middle to each edge again. Like this. I don't have to dig out all of these, because I have 
three blocks deep. So, I mean, it saves a lot of time by running into these little groups of things. So I'm not too unhappy with the progress so far. I'm waiting because I get experience for these in 1.3. So that's what I'm waiting for, is 1.3 so I can mine these for experience. Since I have plenty of this stuff for now, I'll just mine it for experience when 1.3 comes out. So, but basically I, I keep going around the sides, taking them out. What I need to do is actually start filling in some of these things too fill it in so that way I don't have uh, I have smooth walls basically is what I'm trying to say more coal I got coal for days you guys but like these are going to help a lot because I don't have to dig out that stuff There's just lots of, of things that help me not have to work as hard. Now I do have to fill in these walls and go exploring up here. Oh, that was easy. And I'll have to go and stop that water and make sure all these caves are lit up and fill in the walls and the gaps. Well, that was a little lag there. Oh, Mr. Enderman. Yo, Mr. Enderman. Yeah, bring it on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go, chump. My fire sword will kill you. Yeah, that's right. Let's go. Bring it on. Bring it on. Yeah, you chicken. Chicken! That's right, don't mess with me. Chump. I kill you with my fire sword. Oh. But yeah, so I got a lot of places to explore still. I mean, look at over here. This nice big giant gap in the wall from the, the ravine. Or better yet, this one here. This is a good example of stuff I won't have to dig out. So it saves me a great deal of time digging. And that goes all the way down. And this is full of caves in this area here. So it won't take me very long at all to get down to the bedrock, basically, which is where I'm going to. There's like about six or seven is where I'll stop. So I'm pretty excited. It's coming along really well. Um, my next video, I'll hopefully have a good update for you guys. I might even have it to the point where I have it have it full of water, I'm not sure yet. Just depends on how much I'm able to get done this week. But yeah, this is kind of the big project I've been working on. And I'm really excited to get it done. Oh, it's dark outside. And my other question for everybody is, is I want to improve my wizard's tower. So what do you think we should add to it to make it better? You know, I have it over here. And I haven't really done much with the Wizard's Tower since we made it. Because I'm just not sure what to do with it. I mean, it's cool and all, but it's a tower, so there's not much you can really add to a Wizard's Tower to make it, you, you know, awesome like you can with a base where you can add the different rooms and stuff. Ah, oh, dang it, my animals despawned. I'll have to go find me some more. Actually, I need to bring these guys closer to where I'm building so they don't despawn when I'm in the game. You know, I saw some wolves over here earlier. I'll have to bring some bones and tame me a wolf. But yeah, I do want to make the, the tower better and add to it. So you'll have to give me some ideas what you guys think might be really cool to see in the tower. I'm open for ideas.
Oh, creeper. To your face. Burn already, chump. That's right. Don't mess with me. I kill you. You and all your little friends. Oh, that's not good. Don't you dare blow up on me. Got a leading sword. Alright, I'm gonna be done killing those guys. But you can see, I mean, I did all this stuff, but I still need to do more. And I feel like it should have something more to it. So, I'm up for ideas, you guys. Let me know what you think, or what you think we should add to it. Or maybe we should just tear it down. I'm considering widening the stairs by two. So that way it is easier to go up and down. Because there is room to make it too wide all the way up. Because this single step thing is a pain in the rear to try to run up these things. As you can tell. So what I want to do is probably expand the staircase by two. So it's easier to go up and down. Because with just the one level, or the one wide, yeah. It's kind of a pain. And I think two would be a lot better. So that's what I'm going to do at some point as well, is widen that. And I've decided that when I finally do go to the end, I'm going to build a monument for the egg right in this window here. Or we'll build it down in the main base area. Either way, though, um, I'm going to call this episode good right here. Our villagers, our mob spawner, things are going pretty good. So you guys got an update on the, spawn, uh, the, on the slime spawner. It's now finished. It works pretty well. Uh, you guys saw where I've been spending most of my time expanding the main castle area. And that should be really fun once it's finally finished and I'm able to start expanding the rooms. But yeah, you guys, so this has kind of been just a quick update video. I will get more to you guys this week. Um, I have a little bit of time set aside for working on these things. And I'm excited to work on on the castle area over there. And I still have to design the outside of the castle as well. I got the the entrance section, but i got to design the back end of the castle that meets up with that still. And I'm kind of working on that as well, but... Anyways, you guys, I appreciate everybody that watches my videos, and take care, everybody. Peace.